Hey everyone, Sachya Kal, welcome to my channel. So continuing with my series where I try to recreate Bollywood actresses' casual outfits. Today let's talk about Sonam Kapoor's streetwear. I mean, she is the fashionist of Bollywood. She is amongst those first few actresses who actually start making fashionable appearances every now and then. She is known for her Indo fashion, her fusion fashion. So talking about her is imperative. So that's why I tried recreating few of her looks. I absolutely love them. Uh, they're mostly her street style. I mean, streetwear, casual outfits. I haven't tried anything Indo Western. So if you're looking for something dhoti sari or maybe kurta sari you might get disappointed. With that being said, let's begin. So the first look that I recreated is this. It is simple, casual and way too comfortable. Light wash denim shirt, dark jeans and sport shoes. That's it. But the center of attraction is the silver jewelry. So for the shirt, I chose this. This is a long shirt. The one that she is wearing is a little shorter than this. For the black denim, I chose this. This is a Forever 21 black denim and this is something which I have DIY but I really like it. So these both went really well with my sport shoes. Now before I show you the actual look, let me tell you, unknowingly, I actually recreated it almost a year back. Not the entire look, but like 80% of it. So just look at this picture. I'm actually wearing the same shirt that I've just showed you. But with that, I'm wearing my Nike joggers and with my regular lifestyle shoes. But I absolutely love that I actually wore silver jewelry with that outfit as well. So yes, I did it. So recreating this outfit was easy for me because I had already done it, but it was fun too. Probably this next outfit is the one that I'm going to recreate over and over again. Now she is wearing a blue and white dress, white blazer on top and she is wearing black belt to cinch her waist and black flats. So to recreate that look, I chose this dress. This is a Marks and Spencer, my absolutely favorite dress. I have worn it to my office, I have worn it to casual dinners, I have worn it just as a dress, I have worn it as a kurti and it has never ever disappointed me. For the blazer, I chose this. The one that she is wearing is straightforward white. This is off white. So I chose this because this is my office blazer. I've worn it a lot many times. This is my tried and tested piece. So this one with this dress and I think they looked pretty well together. Now for the belt and shoes. Choosing my black flats was a no-brainer but the problem was with the belt. I had this regular black belt, this regular trouser black belt and I don't know how to use it as a waist cincher like the one she has worn in the picture. So that was some struggle. Other than that, everything else went really smooth. This next look is very pretty, but it was way too bold for me to recreate it. I actually discarded the idea of doing it, but later on, I did recreate it. So she is wearing a white shirt with plunging neckline with some jewelry, long skirt, flats. I had all the things, but I think I did not have the confidence to wear it. So I found my way out. I wore a nude color camisole under and that's how I recreated this look. So for the shirt, I chose this. This is a very basic white shirt. The one that she is wearing is again, very basic oversized one. This one is not that oversized, but it did the job well. Now for the skirt, the one that she is wearing is shiny, sparkly, it's going really Really well with the jewelry. In my case, I only have one long skirt, so I wore this. Now for the shoes, the pair she has is very much similar to the skirt she is wearing. I don't have that luxury, I'm sorry. I only have this one skirt and then I don't have matching shoes with it. So I had two options. One, I had these flats which are orange and white flats. So I wore them and later on I replaced them with my kitten heels. And I think the look with the kitten heels was a little better, a little inch better than the one with the flats.
This next is I think her airport look. No makeup at all, a knee length kurti, blue denims, loafers, clear glasses but with a statement neck piece. I think every Indian girl has these things in her wardrobe and so do I. So for the kurti I chose this. This is sleeveless but the one she is wearing is with sleeves and also this is a little shorter. It doesn't reach up to my knees but anyways it serves the purpose. So for the bottoms I chose this. This is my basic blue pair of denims that always comes handy. So I have similar loafers and clear glasses but for the neck piece I don't have any neck piece which is as big as uh, the one she is wearing but anyways I have a smaller one but I think that worked pretty well Next is again her airport look, very simple to recreate but very comfortable to wear. So she is wearing a black dress with denim jacket, then a belt to cinch her waist and then some boots, wig bag, some sunglasses. Yeah easy enough. So this is the black dress that I used for this outfit. I have had this in my wardrobe for almost 10 years now. I haven't really worn it to many occasions. I think I've only worn it three or four times but I always thought that it'll serve someday some purpose and it did. Now the denim jacket that was the main issue. I have seen people flaunting a similar wash so many times but you know what, I don't buy wisely. So I don't have a similar wash, a denim jacket which has sleeves. I have two, but both of them are sleeveless. So what did I do? Instead of wearing a denim jacket, I wore a similar wash denim shirt and I think that worked really well. So I wore this shirt on top of that dress instead of that jacket and somehow I was able to recreate the outfit, but I don't know whether I'll be wearing it out in real life or not. But for the outfit sake, for this video sake, I think I did pretty well. But the issues did not end there. I replaced the boots with my loafers. But the saving grace was the blue belt. I had a similar one and that's how I recreated this entire outfit. So that was the last Sonam Kapoor outfit that I recreated. I like the way she likes to keep things minimal when it comes to her casual fashion. She doesn't go overboard with her accessories or makeup. So that is something I absolutely love about her. So if you have liked today's video, give it big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you soon in my next video. Till then, take care of yourself. Stay healthy. Stay blessed. Bye-bye.